Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019 with the Rude Man, and we're back on Honeydew Farms. And in the last episode, I told you I was thinking about buying an ideal, and I did. I made it the Massey Ferguson. Now, with this particular uh, mod, you can uh, you can buy the ideal tractor, and you can make it either a Challenger, uh, a Fent, or a Massey Ferguson. Since I'm close to Canada, and they're uh, part of the family here in North America I went and made it a Massey Ferguson so I'm gonna see if I can if I can handle more than one combine at a time on my farm as soon as I get my controller running here now I like these combines I've used this combine before this is a mod of the ideal but, um, let me fix that header a little bit, bring it, bring it down, there, and I don't know whether it comes in or not, yeah, it's already in. So, um, I like it, but I don't like the fact that I can't, uh, haul the header behind me. So, and I don't like also that it's only 12 meters wide, um, uh, you know, it's kind of narrow, but... That's okay, I can live with it. As you can see, it's a fast little sucker. It motates pretty good. So, we're gonna use it. Let me get it going on a field. Um, I think I had two fields ready. An oat field and a barley field that I was running. I can't remember. We got lots and lots and lots to do, though. So I did remod this a little bit uh, just for this map. I modded this map to do to hold 150,000 units. Let's open it up here. I, I, I like the mod. It's a nice combine. So let's get this thing started. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the in the uh, same field that I'm working with the other combine because I've only got one truck and there's only one person that's me driving the truck. So I thought if I had two combines and they both did 150,000, that would be one truckload coming out of the same field. So let's go ahead and start this filler up, this old Massey Ferguson and see what he's gonna do. 23 miles an hour, that's fast enough. Let's jump in the other one. Now see, the, com the combine header isn't actually that much bigger, but this one is slightly bigger. And he's off like a shot. Also does about 23 miles an hour. And so then what happens is I've got two combines now. What's he doing? Okay, he was seeding. He was seeding canola. So let's go ahead and get him started again. And who's working? We got uh, Darren Manil in that. We've got David Weirs on uh, one combine and Alan Clark on the other. Now. Since I've only got one truck, let me see. Okay, the truck I'm using has two trailers on it. Each holds 150,000. That way, if I've got two combines going, I can hit one when it's full, put it in the front trailer, and hit the other combine when it's full, put it in the rear trailer, and I've got a load. Now, interestingly enough, since they both hold enough to fill one trailer, if I had a combine in the next field over and it was oats, which it is, the field on the right is oats, I could actually pick one combine up with barley and the other one up with oats and still have it in one load. So I just chose to go ahead and finish the barley out because that way I've got less uh, distance to drive to get it. Because if I put him on that one, I've got a little bit of distance to drive. 
to get to him. Nearly has a full grain load already. That would be the international because he already had quite a load to begin with. So how's everybody doing today? Hope you're doing well. I'm feeling pretty good trying to get some uh, videos put together so I can take a short little vacation. I'm not going anywhere, but I'm going to be uh, fairly busy at home and I don't, uh, I won't have time to do videos. So I'm trying to get a little stockpile together here. That's how I normally work anyway, because my uh, life is hectic and that's good. I like it that way. When life is not hectic, I just sit around watching the clock and just get, I don't know, I get depressed. Not, not necessarily depressed. It's hard to explain. If I'm not busy, I just kind of sit around thinking of all the things I should be doing and, and wondering, you know, how the day is going to go. What the hell? I got stuck on the windrow. I'm stuck in the windrow. Boy, I can't wait till we get some kind of drive control. I have to say, it's one of the things that. Uh, is difficult about FS19 versus FS17. They changed the terrain in the game, the built-in terrain. They changed the physics, some of that stuff, but when they did, the drive control, it, it the trucks and tractors and trailers, they get stuck easier, and you can argue that that's more realistic. I'm not saying it's not. What I'm saying is, it it's not quite right because I had a, a piece of equipment that had like 1,600 horses and a slight hill, not a large hill, but a slight hill was spinning out with no load on. And I thought, this isn't right. And I thought, man, if we had that drive control with full wheel drive, it would be so much better. All right, so here we go. My plan is coming together. This should be a lot quicker now for me to get the fields done. Let me see if I can get over this windrow without getting stuck. And let's see, it's mid-afternoon. I'm sitting here enjoying a nice hot cup of tea, playing a little bit of farming sim, just enjoying life. Ah, nice cup of tea. I never used to drink tea. I'm not a coffee drinker. I've said that many times. And and I and I never used to drink tea. I've started drinking tea because my wife does. And I have to admit, it has become a comfort food for me. Now, if you can call tea food, uh, you can call it a drink, but it doesn't quite sound the same. Uh, so I just call it a comfort food because there's a lot of times in the afternoon where I'm a little bit peckish and I'll just have a cup of tea. And um, it kind of fills my stomach and I'm not hungry any. So I call it a comfort food even though it's a drink. And uh, I didn't used to, uh, like I said, drink. I didn't used to, but I enjoy it now. I mean, I can drink a cold soda all day long, but there's just something about, uh, especially on a winter's day, just having a nice hot cup of tea. This feels so good while it's going down in your gullet. If that makes any sense to you. Perfect sense to me. I was trying to think of a way I might be able to fix this mod. Uh, currently, one of the easiest fixes would be is if somebody made a dolly that had a little bit longer or maybe an extension between the two trailers somehow. The other thing you could do is if you could go in, I don't know how you do it, but you might go in and take that, the, the ladder is not in the way. That little bit of uh, stepping area right there is what's in the way. If you could take that off the mod, then that rear trailer wouldn't be hit by the front trailer when it goes to empty. 
I don't know if you can do that. I haven't actually went into the the i3D and looked at it to see if that could come off uh, the texture area. I might do that if I have a minute, but boy, have it a minute. That's uh, something that hasn't happened to me in a while. I've had some people that have been trying to get the inspector mod. If you remember the inspector mod from 2013 that came out, 20, uh, 2015, 2013. I think I had it in 2013, but I can't recall now. I know I definitely had it in 2015 and 2017, but I stopped using it. And I started using... Is he stuck? I started using the Glance mod. Now, if you don't recall either one of those, the Inspector mod was a mod that at the very top of the screen, it gave you information. Uh, what equipment you had running, whether if it was a combine, how full was it? What did it have in it? Uh, that kind of information so that if you had uh, several pieces of equipment running at the same time on the farm you could tell where they were as far as being full or empty whether they were needing to be emptied what they were holding all that kind of capacity and stuff glance did a similar thing and I stopped using inspector and started using glance and they haven't done uh, glance nobody's brought it over from 17 so far that I'm aware of but somebody was is working on Inspector Mod. All right, what's happening here? There we go. Who's working this? Brian Wheeler. Let's find our truck again. But they've been having some trouble with it. I don't know how they've got it working. Uh, why wasn't that filled? Oh. That combine was not full. Oh. It got stuck on that uh, big pile of poo poo there on the end and wasn't full. Anyway, they're having trouble getting that thing to work. There's some uh, conflicts. If you're trying to use the inspector mod, one of the conflicts is if you're using the Fruit HUD mod. Now the Fruit HUD mod is that mod that you see down by this uh, speedometer down there that has the icon of the barley and the word barley on it and the amount that's in your uh, rig and all that kind of stuff. That's that's the uh, fruit, mud, fruit HUD mod. Well, that didn't work very good. Now I'm just gonna carry this stuff in. They're having trouble because there's conflict with that and uh, I haven't had a chance to look at it because I just figured that somebody will fix it and I'll start using it then. It's not anything I have to have. It's not, it's not a make or break mod. It's a mod that I could live without and, and because, yes, it has a lot of information and yes, it's nice if you use it. Unfortunately for me, I always forget I've got it and I never look up. I have to look at the top of my screen. I never look up to see what's going on up there, so I don't really miss it. I've had plenty of plenty of people tell me, "Well, your glance is telling you something," but you know, well, you yeah, but you got to look at it, and I haven't been looking at it. Weird. Yeah, here's the problem with having two combines run at once. It's keeping me busy and I'm not getting anything else done. Except for that field. And I guess that's okay. I was looking on um, Amazon today for a, a, a particular Denzel Washington movie. There's a, Den, a Den, uh, Denzel Washington movie called Flight, I think it's called, where he's a airplane pilot, 
an airline pilot and he's drunk or on drugs or something and and uh, ends up having problems with the plane and has to land it and ends up bringing it in upside down to land it anyway I was looking at that particular movie and I I didn't um, I didn't want to pay a lot of money for it I was hoping to find it on sale or cheap or something I actually found a Denzel Washington uh, set of movies which one is full is that guy just stuck or is he full it was five Denzel Washington movies for ten bucks and on DVD and it happened to have the one I wanted in there in that group and I thought whoa you can't beat that five movies for ten bucks I'm worried about getting it finding out it's just a piece of garbage but I'm hoping it's at least uh, blu-ray it looked like it was. Uh-oh. Now I've done it. Jackknife myself. So these great big piles at the end of the field are just killing me. I'm thinking that this particular one doesn't seem to be having the same issue. And I might know what the problem is. Might have been something I did. We'll find out. Let's go see what's going on over there. I'm afraid he's not full again. I can tell. Let me go. Let me go see. He isn't full. Let me see if I can get him off of this. Oh, he's stuck, man literally stuck oh come on we need four wheel drive we need a drive mod we're holding out for a hero somebody making us a drive mod there used to be a song like that it was a and they made a TV show with that that was their theme song Holding out for a hero. And the star of the movie got killed while making the movie. They were in between takes. Now, if you know anything about how movies are made, a lot of making a movie is just sitting around waiting. You're sitting around waiting for the people to set the cameras up, set the scene up. Uh, you're waiting for them to film, you know, a part of the thing where you're not in it and you come into it. So there's a lot of just sitting around. That's why these people have these travel trailers to go into. They got nothing else to do. Just sit and watch TV or read a book or whatever until they're needed on the set. There's a lot of that. And it can be very boring. And... John Eric Hexham was the actor's name in this TV show. And he had a part, he was a private detective or some kind of a guy like that. And uh, there was a part where he had to uh, you know, come in with a gun or something. He had what, what was a, uh, it was a prop gun, but there are prop guns that are, that are kind of real guns and they put blanks in them. What a lot of people don't know is that a blank isn't completely blank. There's gunpowder in the shell, but there's also a wad of some kind. Whatever the material is, uh, you know, I'm not 100% sure if it changes from, from uh, gun to gun as far as the prop goes. But there's a wad in there that holds the, whatever it does, it holds the gunpowder back so that you know but if you don't know that you think it's completely safe but if you stick it up to your skin or something and pull the trigger there's still something comes out of the gun well this guy was joking around with somebody in the in the dressing room with him that oh so you're still waiting for you to go on scene and he said yeah and he takes the gun puts it to his head and you know pulls the trigger like he's joking you know like yeah what are you gonna do commit so you know well it actually killed him uh, what a shame too uh, I really like the actor but 
how do I get on this stuff? It is morbid. All right, let me go get my truck. I don't like that this combine's getting stuck at the end of the field every time. Don't know what I can do about it. See, I'm stuck. This is doing the same thing that that, uh, that, that other truck was doing, the Kenworth. Just not as bad. Bad, maybe not the word, not as easy. The other one got stuck a lot easier than this one. If you get some speed up, you can plow right through the windrow. Uh oh. He's gonna definitely get stuck on that windrow. Oh, geez. If I can get past it here. Yeah, stop. Good boy. Fill her up, Mickey. That gets stuck in my head sometimes. It used to be a, uh, it was a cartoon. I, I can't remember whether it was a cartoon in a comic book or uh, Sunday morning comics or in the newspaper or something. But it was, it was a um, mini service gas station. It's mini service, and there's a mini mouse. And I can't remember, I think it's Mickey comes up to the mini service to fill his tank and, and yells, uh, you know, fill it up, mini. You had to be there. All right, I think I'm going to dump this one and then go see what else needs to be done. I've got uh, other pieces of equipment I could maybe start running. I have that cedar going for one. ahead a little bit. Now, unfortunately, I have to sit in the rig or it won't work. The one thing I do like about these crampy trailers is that they do not uh, lift up. That's a problem sometimes inside buildings. Now that we don't have that problem on this map, except for over there where the animal pens have a eave on the roof, but outside of that, we don't have to worry about it. All right, let's, let's get on. All right, he's still working, so we'll let him go. What else have we got? Water. We need water for the animals. Let's do a little bit of that. I do a little bit of everything here in this episode just to keep getting bored. There's lots to be done. And you get filthy again. They don't need water. I don't know where they get the water, but they get the water on their own. So you don't have to water the chickens. Horses need water though. I think it's on this side of the water. Or over there. Let's see if we can do it from this side. Coming for water already. No, he's still eating grass. Maybe. All right, hey, he's full up. Put a little bit in the uh, cattle area here. I think they're going to take more than half a load. There is a bit of bigger water tank, but I'm reserving it for a milk wagon. All right, let's go fill it up again.
of all, it's filling up. Let's go take another look around. Let's see what we got. Well, I know I've got... This guy. I'm still picking up straw. I gotta get that done or I won't have anything else to do. Big bud to do. I started in this one because that one doesn't go all the way down the field. And I'm in a hurry. I might just leave those two. Helper Darren has completed their task. I think that is the seeder. So let me run and see if there's another field that can be seeded. That's ready for seeding. I don't recall that there is. That's field five. All in canola. Or as I sometimes say, canola. Time for another sip of tea. Pardon me a second. Mmm. Ah, still warm. I bought myself a new mug warmer that um, is weight sensitive. So I don't have to turn it on and off. All I have to do is put a cup on it, and the weight of the tuck, tr uh, the weight of the uh, of the cup or mug turns it on. It's turned on by weight. I don't know. Does that field there need to be limed? Let's go look. Oh, it doesn't need to be limed. We can just go ahead and 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 take care of it. Let's do. Let's do what? What should we do? Let's do some soybeans. We haven't done soybeans yet. It's not going to be a lot of soybeans. It's a very small field, but that's okay. That has something on it. I'm going to go this way. All right, we got uh, Brian the Wheeler again, working the cedar. Busy boy today. Finish this load up, then we'll go back to the grain. To the harvest. They're the prettiest weeds you've ever seen. Some people think dandelions are pretty, but I don't. We have a lot of dandelions. I need to spray for them, but I decided to wait till spring. They don't come out in the winter anyway. They're still out in the, in the lawn, but you don't see them. They don't grow up in the wintertime. I love how fast those booms snap up. Oh my God. Like I said, there must be like thousands of pounds of, of hydraulics on those things that pop them up that fast. Well, I'm just going to leave it here because I have to sit in it and wait for it to, to empty. And I want to get some grain and get those combines going again. So... I hope that combine is, I don't know what to do. I don't remember this combine's getting stuck on the window that bad. Because that's what he is, he's stuck on the window, he's not full. Let's go get this one.
while he's unloading. Let's see if we can get this one off the, off the dime here. Yeah, see, he's not full. I gotta figure out what's causing that. I think I may know, but I'm not entirely sure. I think I've got the braking system too strong. Part of it also is a mod. There's a number of people, I'm not the only one using it. There's a mod that allows you to get double the uh, fruit harvest. People were telling me, uh, well, they were asking me, have you had trouble making money on this game? And I said, uh, well, kind of. Because they said, we can't make any money. And so they said they were using this mod. And I thought, oh, really? Well, Maybe I'll use it too, because it didn't seem like we we're making any money on anything. It could be that it's doubling up on the straw too. And if that's the case, I'm gonna try to take that mod out and see what happens. And see if I can, you know, at least make some profit on the, on the farm without that particular mod. Or I could leave it because after these two fields, I'm going to have so much straw, I won't know what to do with it. So I might have enough straw to actually quit making straw. And if I'm doing canola and, and potatoes and soybeans, I'm not going to have any straw anyway. Tell you what I'll do. By the time I get to that oak field, that'll be the third field that I've done straw on, which will give me plenty of straw. And I don't really need straw except for to put in animal pens and that, uh, you know, or to, or to make mixed rations, which I'm not actually doing it yet. So what I'll do is I'll take that mod out when I do that oat field over there and see if it makes the uh, some of the windrow go down a little bit on the end of the fields. Good plan if I can remember to do it. Wage payment, Yeah, I don't like this dolly anyway. I'm waiting for somebody to make a new dolly. I want a dolly that has dual uh, axles on it. And um, this dolly is a clone from the in-game dolly. If I can get a dolly that has a little bit longer span on it there, or some kind of an extender, then these trailers will work just perfectly fine. Drop, drop this in here and then Looks like Alan Clark is full. We drop this in there and we'll go take a look and see how much straw we've got.
All right, so, so far we've got uh, almost three quarters of it. Well, we've got over three quarters of a million and oh, off of one field, off of one field. I still got that field to do and that oak field over there. We're gonna have a couple million in straw. So I'm pretty sure that that mod is doubling the straw as well as doubling the harvest, so. Pretty sure. somebody to make a placeable lamp, lantern, whatever, lamp pole. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer in sleeping when it's dark, but it'd be kind of nice to have lights on your farmland. See if we can get this field finished here in the next couple of minutes. Uh-oh, we got a couple of combines fighting for dominance over here. Which one's ahead? I can't tell. They're neck and neck. Which one's ahead? I think the international is. But the international's not full. Oh, dang it, I jackknifed again. I don't think the international's full, so maybe the international isn't ahead. The international's hitting the other one. Okay. Give me your grain. What's wrong? What's going on here? What's happening? There it goes. Why did that take so long? Go oh, now the international wants to give up its green. See if this guy will take off. He's gonna. He's going for it. Bunny. Gonna finish this field out. All right, I'm getting that front one. So we're gonna stop him. Actually, we can stop this one and let that one come back. Whoa! Oh, I backed up into that and got him stuck. No, he's okay. He's okay. He's doing fine. No concerns. All right, let's go get our truck. What is going on? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's tearing up my potatoes. Oh, are you kidding? He's tearing my potatoes up. Brian! Dang it.
Oh my god, look what I just did. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Oh lord. Oh man, I just dumped all my seed. I dumped all my seed out. Let's pick this thing up. Oh, I can't believe I did that. I don't even know which button that is. I hit it accidentally. Oh, geez. I mean, I'm glad they let you do that. Because that was... You used to waste a lot of... Of... Uh, product, but... God, can I get a decent camera angle here? This piece of machine is so long. Come on. Okay. Is part of that must be part of it must be fertilizer. Or do I have to hit the R key? I do. Dang, what a pain. Look out, birds. Look, they're coming for my seed. You dirty birds, get away. Go away, dirty birds. I, this is not what I wanted to be doing the last uh, few minutes of my live stream. My <laughs> live stream. My video. Not what I wanted to be doing. Okay, don't put yourself away. Come on. I didn't say to put yourself away. How long is this going to take? <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Well, I can, actually. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'm kind of at the end of my recording. Let me go ahead and clean this mess up. And we'll continue on in the next episode. Um, in the meantime, I hope you had fun. If you did, give it a like. Share it with a friend. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, I'll see you on the farm in the next episode. In the meantime, have fun on your farm and happy farming.